and welcome to another market update for Sarasota and Manatee County. We're going to talk about five metrics on what's going on with the real estate market, what happened from November to December, and interest rates did drop about 1%, the effective interest rate that the buyers were getting. So some of the numbers are looking a little better than I was anticipating. So let's get right into this. First metric is the total closed sales. How many properties sold in the entire month of December? Let's first look at November. November was 1,583, December was 1,619. That is a 2.3% increase. Finally, I will say finally because we have had two months of double digit decreases. Even at 1,619 sales, that is not enough sales to call it a healthy market. But at least it's an improvement. Metric number two is the median sales price, not average, the median. Now look at this chart right here. The good news is single family homes in Sarasota and in Manatee County both went up in the median sales price. The bad news is condos did not have a positive effect, especially Sarasota County. Look at this, 14.4% decrease. And thankfully Manatee County's condos barely had any change, $500 change, that's insignificant. Now this third metric is really, really Really important. This is the inventory, the months of supply. And at 5.5 months, we call it a balanced market where it's kind of like in this equilibrium state. Now we have not been in that market for years since before the pandemic. But where are we right now? now look at this chart. It ranges from 3.3 months to 5.2 months. So as you can tell, the Sarasota condos is almost hitting that equilibrium point where it's not a buyer's market. It is not not a seller's market, it's a market where there's good fair negotiations. And as you can tell, everything had an increase except for Manatee single family homes. Well, this is exactly what happens when inventory keeps going up and sales go down or inventory goes up more than sales go up. So let's move on to the next metric, which is what all the sellers want to know. Listen, if you're a seller, you really need to know this. What is it? It's the days from listing to a contract. Well, how long is it going to take you once you put your house on the market for sale before you get an accepted contract? Doesn't mean that contract is going to close. About one out of every three contracts falls apart right now, but it does mean this is about what you can expect to wait if you're listing it and pricing it properly. Very important. And I am shocked. Look at this right here. Both Sarasota and Manatee single family homes went up over 45%, Sarasota being at 48%. Now it went from 25 days to 37 days, which you, if you kind of think about it, you know, it just went from a little under a month to a little over a month. It's not a crazy number. Now the increase is crazy, but in general, waiting 37 days before your house is under contract is nothing crazy when you look at the long historical trend. But what is crazy is that this number has been going up over and over almost every single month for a very long time. And I'm expecting it to continue to go up. But hey, the good news is under 40 days, no matter what you're listing in our area, it's gonna take you about 40 days to go under contract if you price it properly, very important. And the last metric is the total number of active listings at the very end of the month. So this statistic is for December, 2023. So on December 31st, how many homes were there available for sale? Well, it did go up, but just very slightly from November to December, it went from 7444 to 7469. That is just a nominal increase of 0.3%. Honestly, this is insignificant. It's kind of like nothing changed. But if you compare it to the first metric that we had, here's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that we have more homes for sale, very slightly, 0.3%, but we still have more but we also had more sales. So that's showing me that there are a lot more homes going on the market. Hey, listen, if you wanna have a quick conversation, use my Calendly link below and you can schedule a call with me. We could talk about anything real estate in the state of Florida that you want. Whether it's buying, selling, or investing, I do all of those. Thanks for watching, see you in the next 